Hello everyone, this is Ron. Welcome to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. And this video is going to be a pull versus skip discussion from my side about Barrett. And in the past uh, week, I actually played a lot of lot of co-op and as a result, I had the chance also to play with him. So let me share what I think about this character Barrett and also we're having a weapon for Red 13 as well. So we, we will also talk about that. But first, let's talk about Barrett. Barrett is a character who didn't really have so far no, not too much strong banners. I mean, not a single damage dealing banners. And everyone is kind of frustrated about the fact that this banner is not really any sort of Arcanium. This is a lightning based weapon, magic lightning. However, it is not Arcanium. Rather, it is a kind of a weapon and garb, which is a combination of support buff, attack support and defense. In terms of looks, absolutely amazing. A garb that has a lot of signs of war. Look at the details, guys. Look at the superb, really refined details. There's a lot of details especially in these metal parts and of course the logo he has kind of tried to destroy it his neon shaped thing this neon color goes through all the way from his shoes to all the way his sunglasses looks good now what this thing is going to do, it is going to mainly boost the HP by 10 point. That is going to make him a, someone who can survive a lot of hits. He can take a lot of hits and by default his character already having a lot of HP. So this is going to boost a lot. And of course this HP effect is going to support the weapon too, which I'm going to show you a little bit later. Indomitable stuff. This is going to boost the physical and magic defense 20% and magic and physical attack by 10%. So this is going to increase both type of attack and both type of defense which is interesting guys. And this type of characters are kind of indicating that probably in future in, in future there will be certain characters who is probably going to combine both physical and magical defense because nowadays we are having characters either based on physical or either based on magical but probably in future we might see some changes. So these effects by the way these two effects are not going to be applied to the entire team this is only going to apply to him. So this is a thing that you should know. Now let's talk about the weapon. The weapon is a very interesting one but the main thing is it is not a damage dealing weapon. If you take it to even to the 120 level, which is the one copy, if you get the one copy and upgrade the weapon to the max, it will deal only 340% magic lightning damage. And even if you upgrade it, still the percentage kind of suffers a lot. So let's just talk about the basic uh, performance because what I think about this weapon is this type of weapon needs a lot of lot of investment first of all because if you see the R abilities boost magic attack 30 magic ability potential 16 at this level but if you upgrade it look at the bump look at the extra buff and if you upgrade it to the max oh my goodness look at this 52 points of magic ability potential 52 this alone is going to take him to, I think, uh, 0.45. That is level 6. But guess what? You need to do a huge amount of investment. If you just get one or a couple of copies of this weapon, that's not going to help a lot. That makes him this weapon kind of average. But these effects are not average. Physical attack decrease. That is going to decrease the enemy's physical attack. That means your team will survive more. However, if the enemy is having magic attack, probably that's not good. That's uh, also going to help. 
but that's a separate mechanism. So physical attack decrease potentiality mid that means two bars which is very good. Extension of six seconds potentiality mid that means I believe uh, six plus six twelve seconds and also this HP that is we are getting also from the garb that is also going to decrease the magic attack of the enemy that means the boss or enemy will do less damage with magic attack also again two bar potentiality mid all enemies huge duration and also extension very good guys very good effects and as i said that this these things you have to actually invest a lot and i have i have actually played a couple of co-op with uh, this guy and in many cases or in most cases i saw i saw barrett in low level condition or normal level condition in f2p range or low spender range for example let me show you my party and there are some more problems and i'm going to talk about it now the f2p or low spenders probably will be around this stage i mean you cannot expect all the white weapons if you are playing this game uh, as a low spender or f2p because I summoned and yes of course you need to actually get a lot of lot of copies to upgrade this weapon the uber boosting process is kind of expensive to be honest and if you are having a team with this type of upgradation level I mean not really all white stars this sort of levels if you are having this sort of weapon upgradation then you will need a healer. I felt that because I also thought that probably I can go ahead without using healer. But guess what? This sort of team combination and if you think about the recent uh, events, the bosses that we are getting, the enemies that we are getting from the event, especially this Tark. This Tark is Tark's A team is so difficult in many cases, really high battles, and also. This tea party festival event. Currently, I am farming at this high risk three battle. I can do high score, but in order to do that, I have to survive, and for that, I need a healer. So, this type of characters like Barrett can be highly useful, highly effective if you can invest really good. If you can really get like his copy weapons multiple copies of course more than ob6 i think ob8 or so i don't even uh, even think about this uh, i mean how effective it is to get so much copies from this banner this sort of stamp system it is kind of risky in my opinion now let's talk about the weapon for red 13 IV color boost attack boost ability potential this is a kind of a weapon that it is not good because where you are going to use that weapon with your physical attack team if you are using this boost attack you are missing physical uh, attack it is better to use physical attack uh, weapon with physical team and magical attack uh, weapon with magical team this boost attack is of course going to buff both but guess what the percentage is going to be low boost ability potential is good however at uh, a single copy you are getting only 12 points of course you have to upgrade this weapon a lot to get the high potential and if you upgrade you can get 62 bo boost attack that means actually this is having 31 magic attack 31 physical attack so with the current setup with the current setup of the way we, we use our characters this weapon is not going to help but if you think about the future that as i said before that maybe in future they are trying to combine both magic attack and physical attack in one character in that case this weapon is going to help because this is going to boost both of the attacks and also this boost ability potential 
but guess what you need high investment once again and as i said that in an f2p range the value you're getting is not really that useful so overall with these two things in mind about barrett and the red 13 weapon i think this uh, banner is a banner that you can easily skip i think there are better <coughs> alternatives for example this uh kate seed banner is offering more value i think this Aerith and lucia banner is also providing higher value because and i think uh the developers kind of planned it they knew that probably they if, if, if they throw a banner right now mostly you are not going to pull because we have kind of pulled in the previous limit break banners so these were the update about uh, Barrett that I wanted to talk about let me know what you think about these opinions and thank you so much for watching don't forget to support the content support the channel and I hope to see you guys soon in some other videos till then stay awesome and peace out my friends